Hello, welcome back to the screencasts at Provide Cars. We're looking at, again, at the Japanese car auction system here. And you can find us online at ProvideCars.com. Now, in previous screencasts, we've been looking at how to use the car auction search function. And as you can see, here I've done a search on Toyota Corollas with a condition of grade 3.5 to grade 4.0. So cars which are in fairly okay condition, not brilliant condition, but not bad condition either. And what I'm going to do today is go from this search results page and show you what the details page looks like and also look at the auction sheet of the car. So let's choose this car here. As you see, I click on the car's ID number and I'm taken to the car details screen. You can see the information about the car up here again. This is the same information that you could see on the results page. And underneath you've got one, two, three images of this car, a front, a back view, and the auction inspector's report. Now as you can see, this car only has exterior views in the auction results. Some auctions provide interior view as well. But with this auction, which it happens to be CAA Tokyo, they only provide the exterior view with the auction sheet. So here we go. Let's have a look at the auction inspector's report. And with the, as with any of these images, you can make it bigger by just clicking on it. And then the larger size view comes up on the screen. Let's scroll down a bit. As you can see, the first thing you're going to notice about the auction inspector's report is that it's all in Japanese. Now, if you don't speak or read Japanese, you're going to want to, you're going to worry and wonder about, well, what's on this report? I can't read Japanese. It's a grade 3.5, but is it a poor grade 3.5 or really good grade 3.5? And what are all these squiggles down here? What do they mean? Are these good things or bad things? You just don't know. Well, that's okay, because at ProvideCast, we don't expect you to be able to read Japanese. That's our job. And we have translators, one of whom is me, standing by. And when you're interested in a car, you can come up here and click on this button here, which says Request Translation. You'll put in a translation request. And when the translation's been done, you'll get an email notification. And when you come back to the screen, you'll notice it doesn't say Request Translation here anymore. It says C translation. If you click on the C translation, you'll then be able to see, see the English version of all of this information. So you've got all the information you need to make a good decision about whether to buy the car or not. Now, you'll notice one thing that you can read on the auction sheet is down here at the bottom right. This is the map of the car. And we're going to zoom in a bit more on this so you can see it in more detail. As you can see, on the front windshield here, it has some Japanese, and that will be translated along with the auction sheet translation. But there are also some other comments here, like here it says A2, and here it says B2, here it says AB3. These are all things which you can read, and there's a place on the website where you can go and you can see what the details of what these things mean. So, for example, A refers to a scratch. The smallest scratch is an A1, a medium scratch is an A2, like this one, and a large scratch is an A3. B refers to a dent. So B1 is a light dent, B2 is a medium dent, and like this one here, B3, that's a larger dent. Over here you've got XX. XX means a panel has been replaced. So what we can learn from this is that this door panel has been replaced. As you can see, there's a lot you can learn from the auction sheet. If you have any questions about the car as well, then when you put in your bid, you can always ask questions. As you can see up here, it says bid note, and you can ask questions here. And our staff will be happy to answer your questions at any time. That's the end of this screencast. I hope you'll join me for another screencast and learn more about the system. Thank you very much. This is Stephen from Provide Cars, providecars.com.